Hi, this is Craig Metrovich with Russell Vorma for VideoCelebrityNews.com and I am, as usual, highly energized and super excited because we're going to share with you an inspirational story that I believe is unusual and different. I think Russell, first of all, just meeting you for the first time, I think you're a different character. I picked up your energy, but can I take you and put you in the frame? Now, he's an interesting character and he's smiling but what he's not sharing with you is in the background the only reason why we are here today is because he's got this thing called a healthy addiction like i have and he's going to share with us shortly the entire process and his love and addiction on how he has been inspired so if you can hear this give me a thumbs up if the signal is good give me a thumbs up and now we're going to go into a quick interview and we're going to get to know Russell. So Russell, who are you? Tell us about you. What are you doing here at the waterfront in Cape Town next to boats? What's up? I love boats. Mm -hmm. I love sailing. I love the sea. Okay, we're friends already life. now. Hang on, we're it's friends life. now. That's it. That's I've, I've never met him until now. We're immediately friends. <laughs> and then tell us about uh, what you're doing here today. I mean, you guys have got well, an expo here. What are you up to? First of all, I'm in a wheelchair, which makes me different. It does. Well, it makes you maybe fast or slow. It depends. You it know, depends. on a downhill, you're faster than me. But on an uphill, maybe I can overtake you. Eh? Yeah, I, just, I think you got, you got it both ways. But we are here promoting a boat that is to bring sailing to people with disabilities. This is our SV14, and I've been very fortunate to be involved in this project right from day one. So what are you involved with the project? Do you design it? I mean, what's your role as far as the project's concerned? I play with it. No, but that's not right. That doesn't sound like a job. <laughs> it's not a job. It's fun. That's what it's, it's all about. I'm enjoying it. I'm actually Alex's test pilot. The boat's been designed by Alex Simonis and his business partner, Martin Foote. And uh, it's a boat that was cha a challenge to them to come up with a boat in South Africa that's affordable for people with disabilities to have access to the sport of sailing. This uh, boat next to me here is now the prototype. And the prototype has been broken by Alex and myself. We've so you've really it tested it and like pushed it to, it. Yeah, it to the limit, eh? to the limit. But we want to have a boat that can be sailed by anybody with any form of disability so that they can enjoy this wonderful spirit of sailing and getting out on the water and living life out there. All right, so those watching right now, I'm inspired, Russell, because I also love the ocean. It's what I call my healthy addiction. I tell everybody you need to have healthy addictions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little walk around, show you the unique design of this boat, because seriously, it did get my interest immediately. And then I think what you can do, you can grab the mic, which is there. That's it. Okay. And then you're just gently there, hold it at the bottom. Okay. You can see. Have you got it? I've got Fantastic. fingers that don't work so That's good, because I'm quadriplegic. <laughs> but anyway. All right, so what I'm yeah. going to do is, if you can just chat, and then I'm going to turn the camera, and if I can get then the boat in at the same time. So I'm going to right. do that right now. All right, go for it. Tell us about the design of the boat. Okay. And I'll now, check that we've got everything in the, frame. The boat has seating here for two people. The seats are quite sophisticated because they can be tilted to port and starboard, which for people who are not mariners, it's left and right. The handlebars in the middle here are the way we steer the boat. So a little bit like bicycle handlebars, but we call that the helm. And then the ropes that you see around, the big green one down underneath the feet here by the back seat is the main sheet. And that controls the main sail which is above our heads here. And then as we go forward, there are some other green sheets there. And ropes on yachts are not ropes, they're sheets and halyards. Yeah, I was very confused. I didn't see any sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, and these things and, and these things above your head, Craig, are not sheets. They are called sails. <laughs> they are sails, and those are controlled by these ropes that are sheets and halyards and uh, topping lifts and downhauls and outhauls and uphauls and kickers and all sorts of things like that. But those are the mechanics that enable us to sail yachts. Now, you know something, the design I can see immediately is unique. Um, have you got any patents on this? Have you done something that's revolutionary and new and yes. exciting? Yes. That is a first for us so that we this, can show the whole world we're awake. This, South Africa's cooking. This is an absolute first. This is an open source design 
There are no patents. There are no Open copyright. source. Hang on. That sounds like computer jargon to me. Exactly. <laughs> well, I, I love that. that. Open source. Open That's phenomenal. Source design in yachting. People can get the plans, the build instructions, and they can build these boats in their backyards. They don't have to pay design fees. They don't have to pay copyright on anything. So, but so Russell, the this is what must is, be yeah, built yeah. for a person with a disability. Okay. I was going to ask you, what is yeah. the... I was going to say, okay, that sounds phenomenal. Can I get one? And then I realized, yes, there has to be uh, a give back because that's why you've done it. Sold. That is yeah. it. It's for people who have disabilities to get out there and go and enjoy life. Okay, so you, let's talk about you. Okay, so what happened with you? Were you a car accident? I Were you died. bungee jumping? I mean, make it, uh, like, make it truthful but interesting. Okay. Uh, truthful <laughs> yeah. and interesting. Truthful and interesting. I was at a yacht club yep. and somebody's boat floated away and I decided to go and rescue it and I dived into Sunflay and I broke my neck. Oh my gosh. And you know, I was expecting old. a boring story without knowing you whatsoever. Okay, that is a heck of a, a, heck of a life-changing situation. I was 19 years old at the time. I was in the Navy doing my national service. Yes, a huge life changer. But yeah. you know what? Life didn't stop then. And how young are you now? You know, we're not old, eh? I'm 52 years young with a five-year-old. I Note. just celebrated the big 6-0. Big 6-0. I on mean, the that first is of fantastic, May. man. That's fantastic. So 40 plus years in a wheelchair. And I can tell you to this day, it's been challenging, but I've never let it get me down. And has the ocean and has sports and how has the outdoors helped you? I mean, has it uplifted you? 200 percent. Yeah. To me, I carried on where I left off. I didn't get into sailing for a while after my accident. So I got into table tennis and swimming. I love the swimming. And then um, when I got back into sailing, I um, crossed the ocean. I did the Cape to Rio yacht race. And then when I came back, when I came, I'm jealous. He's done something that I wish I'd done. When I came back from that, I got invited to a party in Sydney in Australia in 2000 called the Paralympics. So I went and I sailed in the Paralympics representing South Africa. And after that, I came back to South Africa and we were going to try and start sailing for people with disabilities. But the cost factor got too much. And that's where the SV-14, this beautiful little boat. SV-14. Okay. Yeah. So can people Google that who's watching? Yes, okay. So Google SV14 uh, and you can Facebook yeah? it's SV14 and uh, website it's sv14.org excellent and you can find out all about the project okay so Russell what I'm going to do to wrap up is I'm going to do a little walk around and get some more because the lighting is fading this side but um, what I'd like to do is to summarize this to say wow it's ultra rare that I have impromptu interview with somebody that inspires me loves what I love I can relate to you without even knowing you. Uh, we're definitely uh, ocean soulmates. Great. And I really admire the fact that you haven't sat back and done nothing. That you've gone and done something about your life and found a passion. And I can see, are you living with purpose? That's my Absolutely. question. Absolutely. Yeah. My bucket list is still too deep. Your bucket I list is too long. <laughs> it's far too long. I can't get to the bottom of it yet. All right, my so wife, my wife can't handle it because <laughs> I, I keep adding to the bucket list. <laughs> so, here's a shout out to your wife. Uh, he, he's telling you that he's crazy about you, tolerate him, he's a wonderful guy. And you know, it's the same with me. I tell everyone, if you understand Heidi my puts up with yeah, me, yeah. How, yeah. healthy this is called healthy addictions, right? right. Absolutely, healthy addictions. Okay, I'm going to come back to you. I just want to show, I want to show everybody the boat quickly so they can relate to what we're doing, and then I'll come back to Russell. Okay, if the signal's good, I need a thumbs up, I need a love, I need a like. This is in Cape Town, South Africa. It's Craig Metrich for Video Celebrity News. And we're talking about the boat in the back, which is background, which is very unique. The design is very unique, as you can see. What's amazing about it is it's open source. Now, I come from an IT background, so I fully understand that what that means. It means that they're sharing all the intellectual property and the designs so that you can literally manufacture and fabricate it yourself to the exact standards. Right, I'm going to walk through here. Russell, you're looking great that side, man. This is phenomenal. You must be really proud to be involved with this. Hey? All right, I'm going to just walk around. I'm going to head back to Russell. Okay, so what is this all about? This is for Video Celebrity News. My name is Craig Metro. It's to inspire you, energize you, excite you, and to get you to appreciate the good things in life. I mean, here I am at the waterfront in Cape Town with Russell. 
and he hasn't got a negative bone in his body and he's certainly been on a much tougher challenge than we have in our lives. Well, I've been through a few challenges, but we all, if they are, we all have in different ways. So, Russell, what is the leaving message for the audience? What would you like to inspire them on? What would you like to leave as a legacy as to why we are to together at this moment? Take all the negatives and make them positives. And get rid of the people around you that can't actually uplift you. Am I right? Absolutely. If anybody puts you down, that's their problem. Move on. So that's it. My name is Craig Metro. This is Russell. Russell, say your surname so everybody's got it. They can Google you. You're going to have a lot of fans after this. Russell Volmer. Volmer. And he speaks so beautifully. I mean, if you ever need to do radio, I think we should put you somewhere on no, radio. Please not. No. no. <laughs> please not. Rather on the ocean. I'll stay at sea. I'll stay on the ocean. No. Cross the ocean anytime, not on radio. Okay, so he's addicted to the ocean just like me. And I trust that you've all enjoyed this. This is really to share the inspiration and excitement of the ocean. It's here to share with you the healthy addictions, to uplift you, to energize you, and for you to love life. In conclusion, share the good news, share the light, share some positivity.